What is up, everyone? Welcome in. Uh, it's time to try some new makeup, you guys. I promised this video to you guys because I bought a bunch of stuff from Sephora and I've been holding on to it and holding back and not trying most of it. So here we are, we're gonna try it today. I've obviously already used it now. And there are some gems and quite honestly, there are some that I was like, mm, about, and they were really expensive, which really, sucks. <laughs> anyway, but we will get into that in a second. I wanted to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. That is the phone case I've been using for years. That is, this may be my favorite one I've had ever. I get so many questions from you guys on this particular design because it is so cute. And I feel like this like literal pattern is very trendy right now. But if you've never heard of Casetify, it is basically the world's most popular <laughs> tech accessory brand, phone case brand. They sell so many different things. And right now they're having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So it's a really good time to shop if you've been thinking about it or maybe you're wanting a gift for someone. Especially like if you've upgraded your phone to the new iPhone 14, they've got cases for that. If you wanted to get a personalized case for someone, or an accessory for someone as a gift. You could get their name on it, their monogram. That'd be a really thoughtful gift. Plus with their new bounce cases, which that's what this kind of case is, it offers drop test protection up to 21 feet. I'm gonna show you a drop test right now of me dropping <laughs> one of the bounce cases with my phone in it because I trust it. It literally will just bounce. I mean, it's just incredible. These cases are so protective. I've never had any issues with a cracked screen or anything breaking or anything like that. And I drop my phone all of the time as we all do. But I also really like that they are, like I said, really trendy, really customizable. They have over 2000 designs to choose from. They work with artists all over the world, which I think is so cool. Plus they're made with 65% recycled cases, which I think is so cool. I'm gonna pop on the screen how they do it and break them down and reuse them. I just think that is such a neat thing. Plus they have really cute and functional accessories. One of my favorites is my phone strap. It literally attaches to a little card that you put in your phone case. And so you can attach it to that. You can wear the strap crossbody. You can wear it just on one shoulder. It makes my life so much easier when I'm on the go, especially with my kids, because I know my phone is safely with me on there if that's the way I'm wanting to wear it that day. It's just so awesome and useful, but it's also really cute. So I wanna show you some of the cases I currently have for my new iPhone 14. I just think they are so cute. I love that some of them you can customize, like I said. Some of them I just picked really cute patterns that I love. You guys, you will be overwhelmed in the best way when you go to Caseify site and just start scrolling through all of the different options they have. If you're into something, you will be able to find a case that represents that, which is amazing. <laughs> so if you want to shop Caseify's biggest sale of the year, you can go to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun. I will have that link right at the top of the description box. Like I said, it's a great time to buy a new case for yourself if you want, but it's also an amazing time to buy a gift for someone else. And I really feel like Casetify is a really cool, kind of thoughtful, unique, but also really useful gift idea for different people, especially since they don't just sell phone cases, they sell so many other items too. So thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, first of all, it is snowing outside and it just started and it's making me so happy. And I need to get some Christmas decor up in here is what I'm thinking anyway. So, we have a lot of makeup to try, like a lot. I'm gonna have to make some tough choices here on which thing to try, but some of this I have like already opened and swatched and stuff, but I don't think anything we're doing today, I've tried it all. And I'm really excited because these are things I've been, or at least a lot of these are things that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I was waiting for the sale or, you know, whatever it was. So it's gonna be a good one today. <laughs> I'm really, I'm feeling the vibe. So, we are gonna start with a primer and I have a couple of options. Kind of wanna use both. So maybe I'll use like some in some areas of my face. So one of the primers I got during the Sephora sale is the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. I've heard really, really good things about it. What's cool is it says it's upcycled plastic, bioplastic, cruelty-free clean formula. The box is 100% post-consumer recycled paper. So love when brands are trying, you know what I mean? So I think that's cool. It says it erases pores, but that it's also hydrating and plumping. That's a lot of claims. Formula-wise, it's kind of, ooh. Does have kind of a silicone-y feeling. Oh, it smells like oranges. Kind of like that. I am a big fan of citrus though, you know? It smells good and it feels really good. I can see where it feels silicone and, and blurry, but it does still have a hydrating feeling. That can be very hard to do. 
and kind of hard to find, I should say. I don't know if it's hard to make, but it's definitely harder to find. So I'm very intrigued. The other primer, however, that I wanted to try is Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum. So I got the shade Main Squeeze, and I've just heard this is a beautiful hydrating, not hydrating, glowy type primer. I was worried it'd be a little too dark, but that looks like it blends in. Oh my gosh. I just love a glowy look like that. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, maybe I try like the, the blurring one like here and then do the glowy one up here. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. I got a healthy amount of this. I'm not sure how much is too much, you know, and just kind of press it in. This smells so good oh my gosh definitely smells like oranges so if you are not a fan of citrus i would not get this it feels really nice it does look a little bit blurred there or i should say like my pores look more filled in i kind of want like a hand cream that feels like this i like that this packaging is like a little bit like long and slender i just think that's kind of unique See what I mean? I definitely thought it'd be too dark for me. Definitely see that glow. So maybe this was the best way to do it because you can really see how, like, I feel like my skin still looks somewhat hydrated, but it definitely looks more smooth. But then up here where that is, it looks really glowy and hydrated. So definitely very different vibes between these two primers, but I don't know. I just wanted to try both. So we'll see how these look under the foundation. Now the foundation I've been dying to try this. So this is the House Labs by Lady Gaga Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. A ton of the shades keep selling out. Like it was just like, I feel like the hot ticket item this past few months, <laughs> really it still is. Um, so I'm opening this like a monster. I have the shade 100. I felt like I had to compromise on the shade because the one I really wanted, I don't remember what it was now, but the one I really thought might be good was sold out. But I mean, either way, I was guessing, okay, I'm loving the like frosted glass bottle. This feels feels very luxe and like high end, which is good because it wasn't cheap. <laughs> I think shade wise, this might be just fine. I really do, I, I mean, we'll see. So it does say shake well before use. I wanna look up the claims of this. Okay, shout out to the ember coffee mug i had brought coffee with me today and it was already super cold and i was like oh i'll microwave it then i was like wait a minute i poured it and again it was like colder than lukewarm i poured it in this ember mug like five minutes ago and it's the kind of mug that like warms up and keeps your coffee warm it warmed it up it's so fast i can't believe it. like i took a sip thinking it would still be lukewarm and no mm, they're expensive but man like if you wanted a really good gift for a coffee lover i'm working on my gift guide i should make sure i put this in it for a coffee lover, amazing. This is black, they have like white. I feel like they have a few colors. Anyway, so first off, a ton of shades. So that is really cool. There's 51 shades. It says it's medium and buildable, uh, weightless, clean foundation. It's got Arnica to help reduce redness, even skin tone, protect for environmental, blah, blah, blah. Um, suitable for sensitive and acne prone skin as well. So it's kind of one of those like, it does everything foundation. So I am just curious. I'm gonna do it with a sponge. I think this might be a little yellow for me. What else is new? <laughs> so one layer with and without. I definitely feel like I want a little bit more coverage. Like you can still see a little bit of freckles, which I don't hate, but I just want a little bit more coverage. So we'll see if it's buildable. We're gonna test that claim. I feel like medium is definitely a good name for the coverage level of this though. And it definitely blends in really quickly. And again, this is on, I'll be curious how it looks on my forehead because this is on my cheek where I did the like blurring primer that is a little bit more mattifying obviously than the glowy skin one up here. But I definitely feel like this is looking more matte than I expected. I expected it to look a little more hydrating, I guess. So let's try it before I do the other cheek. Let's try it on my forehead and see how it looks on that. Cause it might just be the primer that's making it look different than I expected. All right, looks a little bit kind of what I like up there on top of the Yummy Skin Primer. So there's something to keep in mind. If you are not wanting a matte look, don't use a matte primer. <laughs> Duh. No, but you know what I mean. Like, I just feel like this is one of those foundations that will take the shape of your primer. Some foundations will just totally like kick your primer out. Like whatever you tried to do, it doesn't really matter because it's gonna do its own thing. Like. If it's a super glowy foundation, it's just gonna look glowy no matter what you do, you know? Or a super matte one, but this is one that does seem to kind of take the shape of the primer you put underneath it for real. 
So just keeping that in mind, I mean, that's I'm, in theory, that would be what you want. Otherwise, what was the point of primer? But sometimes I'm, I'm just kind of one of those people that I'd prefer to have a foundation that just does what I want. I don't even need to worry about a primer underneath at all, you know? It does look nice though. I don't feel like it looks bad. I just don't feel like yet, I don't yet see what all the fuss is about. Like it just feels like a lot of other foundations that I really like. So it's not that it's bad. It's just I'm, I'm trying to figure out what all the fuss is about. And also I feel like shade match wise, that was pretty good, right? I don't know. Have you guys tried this? Do you feel like, did it blow you out of the water? What was it about it that like blew you away? Or did you feel like, hmm, it's not bad. Like I said, it's just, I, I'm trying to figure out what in the world all the hype is about. So please fill me in. And I'm going to use this more and more. I'll use it with other primers. And that might be the way I just absolutely realize what the magic of this is. I just feel like it's good. And actually I'm relieved that I do at least like it because I do feel like there have been a lot of foundations lately that I've tried that I've been underwhelmed by where they just make my skin look super dry, you know, all those kinds of things. So I'm glad to like it. I'm just trying to figure out the height. So next thing we're trying is this concealer. I'm so excited to finally try from Milk Makeup. This is their Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I have it in the shade 6C. Again, I was totally guessing. It's kind of got the cute short stubby packaging, which I think is really cute. And hopefully that looks like a good concealer shade for me, not too terribly light. We are gonna see. I don't really know how much to put on there. By the way, for a while I was doing that trick of like doing some concealer here and some out here um, that a lot of people recommend, but I was noticing it made my fine lines look even more obvious. You know what I mean? Than what I just typically do, which is this. So I don't know. Have you guys, do you guys still do it that way where you put some here and some here? Do you notice it? Like it just really started to emphasize my fine lines more and more. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to stop. Cause I still get some concealer out there. It's just maybe not as much. I don't know. Okay. Wow. What was the concealer I just tried the other day that I was like, oh my gosh, it reminds me of this where it blended in so easily. It looks so nice. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look too dewy. Like it's right in the middle. What in the world? I'll put that foundation below, whatever, or not foundation, concealer, because it was, I feel like it was a cheaper one, but it was really good. But this I am enjoying. And also the doe foot kind of comes to like a pyramid shape all around, which I think is kind of cool. Again, just a, something slightly unique. You gotta have a gimmick. You guys, I just finished the book called Love Lucy, and it's about Lucy Ball, written by Lucy Ball, by the way. I am someone that like, I've never really cared so much about I Love Lucy or Lucy Ball. Like I have always known who she was. I've seen plenty of episodes, but like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't care about her. That sounds mean, but you know what I mean? That was the most interesting book I've read in a long time. And actually I just listened to the audiobook because it was her daughter reading it. But either way, you, it's all about Hollywood in the thirties and forties and about her life and what it was really like being famous. Like hearing it from her point of view was wild to hear. I don't think it would have mattered what celebrity it was. It was just so interesting to hear about that time. And like, even like being in the vaudeville stage, like, oh my gosh, it was so interesting. You guys, it was so interesting. So worth a listen or a read. It's an easy, interesting read. Even if you have this much interest in Lucille Ball, I think you will end up finding it interesting anyway. Okay, well, I'm really enjoying the way that that looks. I just feel like, I definitely feel like I need to set it, but I feel like it blended in really quickly. This, by the way, is my, <laughs> that BK Beauty 108 brush I really am loving. They did, by the way, uh, send me an email and give me a promo code for you guys. I think it's Jessica 10 and you get 10% off. I'll put that below um, because I really have been liking their brushes and I mentioned this brand in my vlog where I show my makeup brush to clutter. Oh my gosh, I got rid of like most of my brushes. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it below. But I mentioned that this is one of my favorite brands. The brushes are crazy nice. So anyway, the 108 one is great because you can do so much with it, but I really like it for concealer. It's so soft. This can be a long video. I hope you guys have your coffee or a snack or whatever. So we're gonna try this brow product from Merit. It is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. I don't even know why it's called the Brow 1980. We should find out. I just liked the name and it made me happy and I can't explain it other than that. <laughs> okay, there it is. A nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade adds color and volume for healthy, fluffy arches. I kind of figured that that was the idea. I hope the color is right. I got the shade brown. I think there's only like three shades, so you were pretty limited. I worry that this might be a little warmer than my brows typically are, but 
doesn't look too bad. This definitely has a little bit of a bigger spool. I mean, it's still a small spoolie, but this is bigger than the um, Elf Wow Brow and like the Gimme Brow if you're used to that size. This is just a little bit bigger, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, oh, that's definitely warmer than I normally go. Ugh. I feel like the only other two options were like black and like blonde. I'll have to double check, but like this definitely seemed like the better option out of them, but they're wanting to be serious in the brow game, they're gonna need some more shades. But it's applying really easily. I definitely do feel like it's kind of given that like fluffier, filled in look, but it's just a little warmer. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I am so weird about my brows looking warmer than my hair actually is. I don't know what it is about it, but it will always bother me. And when I notice someone else does that, I can't stop looking at it. Like, what is wrong with me? But. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna keep it. Hopefully as I get some more stuff on my face, it won't look as obvious, but I just definitely deposited a little more color than I expected, which I, I think this is a good brow product. If you want that, this was fast, it was easy. And if you can find the shade match that actually works, that was really nice to use. I just feel like it looks like a lot. Maybe let me try to brush out a little bit of it. All right, Merit, you heard it here first. I need a cool tone brown, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you're listening. <laughs> So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I'm not going to use this today because I have something way better to use, but I told you guys in my little Sephora, well, it wasn't little, my Sephora haul showing these products that I got this Tom Ford, Ford quad in De La Creme and it's totally colors I would use. I swatched it. The mattes are gorgeous. You guys, these shimmers, why can't they get a good shimmer for me? Like what is going on? Okay, that's looking a little better now that I'm getting deeper. It's just, a, I don't know. It seems okay. I haven't actually used it on my eyes and I was gonna today until I remembered, oh yeah, I totally forgot in a separate order, I bought this and I have, I've been dying to try it. So this is the Makeup by Mario new palette. Oh my gosh, it's called their Ethereal Eyes palette. You guys, isn't that beautiful? It looks like such a wintry, beautiful palette, but it's got enough, I think, kind of cool and warm tones. I feel like upon first glance, I'd be like, oh, that's a cool tone palette, but really looking at it, it's really not. There's plenty of warm tones, but I also appreciate this packaging is like kind of metally and it doesn't show fingerprints. It's different than the other Makeup by Mario packaging I've had. This is, is a different feeling and I was pretty surprised by it, but it feels even more high quality. And again, it's not going to show dirt and fingerprints as easily, which I just appreciate, okay? I will try that Tom Ford one on my own, obviously, and let you guys know actually applying it, how it works. So this is just so gorgeous. I'm trying to decide like what in the world to do. I feel like I definitely will be using this all December long. Like it just looks like one of those palettes. I think it may be limited edition. And if that's the case, I would say if you were thinking about it, assuming this is good, I would buy it sooner rather than later or like ask for it for Christmas maybe. Let me start in the crease just cause I don't know. Let me swatch some of these first. Ooh, that shimmer. The shimmer is like glitterier. It looks more like a topper for sure. But one thing I like about some of Makeup Amaro shimmers is that they give that wet look and those feel like they're gonna give that kind of a look, which I love. Yeah, all of the shimmers kind of have that like more topper-like quality versus just an alone shade. Um, let's put it on alone real fast though, just to see. Oh, you can totally wear it alone. Are you kidding me? Do you see how it just looks wet? That is what, I love that look. I don't know what it is about it, but I just think it is so pretty. And this totally does that. This is reminiscent of why I love the Makeup by Mario like luminizer thing, but that thing breaks all of the time. And so I, I tend to not grab it, even though it gives this kind of a look that I love. Oh my gosh. So let's get something in the crease a little bit. I'm gonna go for this warm brown. I could see putting this warm brown all over the lid right here and then uh, putting one of the toppers on top of it and just making the brown look all wet, I think would be really, really pretty. Honestly, I'm just gonna kind of put some of that brown on it and then we'll put some more of the topper on top. Where were we? I was just chatting, my ring just flew off. Uh, I was just chatting with my sister. Um, all right, so, eyeshadow still. So I kind of want to take, I want to do something, but <laughs> you guys know me. I always do the same thing. I'm gonna take a little of this like kind of taupey color and I'm actually gonna tap it on here cause I wanna put one of the like shimmers on top of this just to see. I know we're just doing weird stuff, but whatever, just bear with me, okay? Cause I wanna see like what it looks like on top. Okay, that lighter one's not doing it. Okay, here's my verdict already. 
I'm in, I really like it. I can see that I will probably use this a lot now. I just feel like I have to even it up. I think that it is gonna give kind of one type of look and one type of look only. I know I didn't, obviously you can do deeper looks. That's not my point. My point is if you're using the shimmers, all of the shimmers are gonna kind of give you that like wet look. And so I feel like all of the looks are gonna be similar vibes, but still really pretty. And it does not look great on top of this taupe. So now we know, maybe these shimmers are better alone. And now I've screwed it all up, screwed it all up. Now I feel like taking like all of the eyeshadow off and starting over, cause I feel like it looks like nothing. And I'd rather at least have that wet look. So we're just gonna back it up. All right, I wanna go back to what I did originally. I wanna do like just the light, pretty shimmer all over. Cause I just think that is so gorgeous and just a little bit in the crease, cause you guys know that's the way I roll. But these shimmers definitely look better just on their own. But I would say too, you know, this is not a cheap palette. If this is not the kind of look you like, I wouldn't bother. Cause this is just the kind of a vibe this is and I like it, but I, I just don't think it's for everyone. Maybe I'll do the pinky tone cause I like a nice like kind of mauve eyeshadow. Actually my sister that just called me, I remember when she was a teenager she would always wear like pink eyeshadow and it always looked so pretty. I feel like it was like this kind of a color and it always looked so pretty on her. So I feel like that's part of why I'm partial to it. It just makes me think of her. Definitely a holiday feeling, kind of festive palette though, for sure. In fairness though, I did remove it and apply more. So it's probably more than what I would typically have. I don't mind a little glitter fallout. Alrighty, I've moved forward and a couple things. I threw on liner. I used the Flower Beauty Forever Wear winged liner. I always want to say winged liner, like winged monkeys. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I threw on the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I feel like this light, it is so dreary out with the snow. It's beautiful, but it is very gray out. So I'm totally relying on artificial light and I feel like it's washing so much out. But anyway, Contour Wand MAC Well-Dressed Blush. This is a really old one. Like it's so old, I'm like, should I be using it? But I feel like it's fine. <laughs> so for mascara, we're gonna use the Merit Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. I love tubing mascaras. I think the packaging of this is so cool. And it kind of reminds me of like L'Oreal packaging in a way. Could you see that? Um, and it just looks like a classic brush. I love this kind of a brush. So let's just dive right in. I just fell in love with the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. That stuff is wildly volumizing. If you wanna see that one in action, I'll link the video where I try it. It's um, amazing, you guys. That mascara is so good and tubing mascaras come off with just warm water. And yes, I've asked, I've had questions, people asking like, does it? It really does. This one is looking lengthening for sure. It's definitely not volumizing the way that that Tarte one does, but we'll try to put on like a little bit of a second layer and kind of see how it does. But it definitely gives that kind of clean look where if you don't want it to look spidery or if you just want it to look like a really soft lash look, this is definitely giving that. The more I'm looking at this eyeshadow, I feel like it just kind of gives a wash of really pretty color and shimmer. And that's what I was trying. I couldn't think of that phrase when I was talking about it earlier. That's what I like about it, but I do think that's a very personal thing. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't like that look. And so then you really might not like the shimmers in that palette. Okay, enough about the palette, Jess. So yeah, this is, it looks really nice. I don't think it looks bad. I don't know that this would ever be my like holy grail because I personally do like a little more volume, but it is looking nice. I do feel like it layered a little bit more on, but for the price point, would I feel like I need to buy this again? At least upon first impression, I'm not so sure. This also could be one of those formulas that needs time to dry out, but it's okay. I just think there's better at the drugstore. Now, I still have not found a great tubing mascara at the drugstore. Um, I found some that are like kind of tubing mascaras that are okay. It's probably all the ones you're wanting to type below. I've tried all of them. <laughs> I don't think they're terrible, but this feels more like the drugstore ones I've tried. Whereas like the Tarte one I really like feels like the Thrive Cosmetics one that are like really volumizing. Um, that's what I like. So anyway, but I don't think it looks bad. Just okay. All right, for lips, I got the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. So this is a really pretty kind of deep rose. 
and it's one that it's a shade I've heard a lot about. I own Anywhere Caffeine and I like that. I wonder if I will like this a little bit better. That one's a little more nude. I'm gonna color in my lips with it because I'm gonna be using, well, you'll see what I'm using on top. These pencils are pretty cool because they really do have good staying power because they're like more of a wooden pencil. I feel like, I don't know, they stay on, but they're still creamier than you expect for a wooden pencil. And I feel like you can literally, I mean, with any lip liner, just fully color in your lips and you get like a nice lip look, you know? So the other thing I got, and I have tried this, is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump from Tarte. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom. It's a little light for what I like, but I think it's gonna look nice on top of a color. So I think that's what's been missing for me as I've used this alone. It just washes me out a little more than I typically would like. I love the formula though. That looks really nice. So if you have a shade that you really like, that you think I might like, let me know below because I want to try another one, um, but I want it to be one I would like actually wear a lot. Yeah, that looks so nice on top of that lip liner. That's the beauty of this formula. They're so creamy. They're kind of like a balmy lipstick. There's definitely color to it. So like looking at it swatched on its own, um, but it just like almost is like a gloss. It's so bizarre. It's like a lipstick gloss hybrid. I love it. So big fan of it. Definitely has a slight minty tingle, but I just so comfortable you guys. The other thing I did use, but I used it off camera when I was doing my liner. I always use a puff to kind of like hold it in place while I do it is this little Mickey puff. It's from uh, the one size brand. I really like it. However, if you use it the way I use it, I had to like the ears were kind of getting in the way. So Cute idea, I will still continue to use it because why not? But I think it's just gonna take some getting used to. Now, if you were actually using this the way you're supposed to for powder, I feel like the ears would really bother you. Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe you'd use the ears for like smaller parts. Wait, that's actually kind of genius. Like if you got a little powder and anyway. So yeah, very, very cute. Not the most practical, although it could be depending on how you use it. So that's everything, you guys. I uh, kind of rounding up my thoughts I think the things I'm the most excited to start using like tomorrow to like use again, I really, really enjoyed the milk concealer. I feel like I did end up setting it. Now I've got glitter from the eyeshadow everywhere. I did end up setting it with a powder, but I think it is just easy to use. It's the amount of coverage I like. I feel like it covers what I want, but it was, it doesn't look gross and crepey or anything like that. So excited to use it without glitter all over it. I liked the Cali Ray primer. I want to use it some more but this was the standout. I really liked how it made my forehead look. I just feel like it looks really glowy. So I'm excited to use it on my cheeks as well because I don't know, I feel like I've tried a lot of glowy primers and some are really lovely and some just really don't do much. This one felt really lovely. So I'm excited to use this a little bit more as well. And you guys of course know I'm very excited about this palette, but I just don't think it's for everyone. I think I've already explained that. Today. But the things I'm I'm just curious to try some more the house labs foundation I don't not like as I said, but it just I Just feel like I need to use it some more. You already know. I like both of these lip products. They're lovely um, The merit brow and the merit lash. I feel kind of meh about both of them You know it is what it is. So I hope that you enjoyed this video I so enjoy doing these trying to make up videos once a month ish once a month or so sometimes more depending sometimes less um, I'm definitely working on some more drugstore content as well I know this was super high-end focus, but no worries. I've got drugstore content coming up I'm very excited about so stay tuned subscribe for that Thank you again to Caseify for sponsoring a portion of this video again If you are interested in checking out Caseify whether it is for yourself or for a gift for someone else Just go to caseify.com slash Jessica Braun to check out Caseify's Biggest sale of the year. This is a great time to check out their cases and tech accessories and all of the things in between that they offer. They have a lot on there. So thank you again to Case Defy and thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.